I'm here now with Syracuse Crunch goalie Connor Ingram. And Connor, we appreciate your time. Obviously, uh, the tragedy with the Humboldt team in the last week or so. And we know that you're from that area. You played on a different age group with that team. What has this time since that all been like for you? Yeah, it hasn't been easy for sure. It's a, it's a thing in hockey that all of us do. We spend so many hours on the bus, take it for granted. And like you said, it just happened to hit closer to home for me. And yeah, it's, uh, it hasn't been easy since that day. I can't imagine. And um, you know, with anybody that was involved in that awful incident, do you have any personal personal connections with any of those people? Yeah, yeah, I had some friends on that bus. One really good friend of mine. So it was uh, it was tough there for a couple of days, just not knowing what uh, what was going on. But once the rumors stopped and you started to get the facts, it got a little bit easier. But it never uh, it never gets too easy. We saw obviously your performance the other night against Rochester. How outstanding that was and mentioning how close the hockey family is. What did that mean to you to have that kind of performance to really honor the victims of this awful tragedy? Yeah, it's, it's good to get back out there. Obviously, it's, it's good to get away from it for, for a couple hours and think about something else. And like you said, it, uh, it's good to be for them and it's good that it, uh, it worked out. When you see the support, obviously this has gone on across the world, but even here in central New York, you know, people on Twitter putting the sticks outside their house and even linking you on there, knowing your connection. Uh, obviously the team putting the patch on their jersey. What does it mean to you to see the response for a team that's so close to your heart? Yeah, obviously it just happened to be closer to me, but I think if anything like happened, happened like this in the hockey world, they were going to band together no matter what. So it's good to see it all the way out here, and it's good to show your support for all his families. Is there any sort of thing that you can tell the survivors of that tragedy to try and help them and how they can maybe even use hockey to help in the healing process? I don't know. I've, I've never been in that position. and Probably uh, I'm going to go home here for a couple of days and, and see a lot of them. So I don't have anything planned to say to them, but they, they know that, that we're with them the whole way. And if they ever need anything, anybody in the hockey world is going to leave their phone on for them. And as we approach playoff time for you guys, how much will that be on your mind as a way to honor these guys and helping to take this team, your current team, as far as you possibly can? Yeah, obviously it's still going to be there. It's not something you're going to forget about. But, yeah, it's a, it'll never get easier. And I think it's just uh, it's learning to live with it more than, than trying to forget about it. So it uh, should be exciting to, to get in the bus. And like I said before, getting to the rink is, is good to get away from it for a while. Connor Ingram from the Syracuse Crunch, thanks so much for your yep. time.